Uh, hello everyone. This video is uh, going to show you how to use VI sudo to assign uh, root and other privileges to cert other users so that they can use sudo to do certain tasks. So here we go. We're using VI sudo to configure sudo. So we're using VI sudo and it's important to use VI sudo rather than editing the file directly. So VI sudo will edit the file etsy sudo. Oops, sorry. Etsy sudoers. So I can't look at that because I'm not root user. Um, but I want to use VI sudo. So VI sudo will by default edit that file. So I can't edit that file because it's privileged, so what I have to do is use sudo. So this account, su, on this box, has sudoers. And if you remember, when you set up your, your account, so my the account for you, which might be su or whatever it is, and my account, which is Trisha, you added us to the sudoers group. So we'll have a look at that. So this is the file, and notice it's using the nano editor. So the nano editor is uh, relatively easy to use versus VI. So I'm going to leave it configured like that. And notice down here we have, this is a control, so where you see the, the, the up arrow, that's control G will get help, control X will exit, control O will write, and so on. So we're going to use this for now. So if I, I'm using the cursor to go down, and here I see that root is configured to use everything in sudoer, so root can use anything it wants can use anything at once. So, um, And then we have two groups. So we have two groups that are set up so that if I, what this means here, it says that the admin group, so the percent sign says it's a group, and then the group name is admin, and then the first one is it can come from any host. So if I come from another host and I'm in the admin group, it will it, I will be allowed to do it. And then inside here it says the account, so it doesn't matter what account I come from. So if I come from Sue and I'm in the admin group. And then finally, the commands that I can do. So that's the order. We have the, the here's a user, and here's a group. And then we have the hosts it can come from, the accounts it can come from, and the commands it can do. So this is essentially... Um, says that the members of the admin group, as it says there, can gain root privileges. And this says that the members of the sudo group, so that's what we did when we created our accounts before. We added them to a secondary group called sudo. So that gave them permission to do all of the commands. So through this, anybody in the sudo group can do anything. So execute any command. So this is a blanket permission for anything. Um, so what we're going to do today is we have um, a new person has joined the department. Let's say we're, we're doing this for a department. And they are they don't really know what they're doing yet because they have to be trained. So we want uh, this person, Max, we'll call them Max. We already created the account for Max. We want her to do some tasks that require root, but that are, um, but we don't want to give them everything because they haven't been fully trained yet. So what we need to do is we need to, I'm just putting some blank space in here, add a line for user max. So this is the user max. And I guess we have a lot of systems, so we're going to say they can come from anywhere and uh, and from any account. And But we only want them to be able to, so if you remember, sudo information is logged in the auth log, so var log auth log. So I want them to be able to tail that, to see what's going on. So kind of preliminary, um, I'm, if this is a trainee. So I'm going to say I want them to be able to tail uh, using f var log. Oops. So one of the things I'm going to have them do is monitor this log, but I don't want to give them full root access. So I'm only giving them access to this tail command. So now that looks good. What I'm going to do is save it. So I'm going to say Control X to exit, and yes to save modified buffer, and then I hit enter. And it says, so this is one of the nice things about sudo. It says I have a syntax error near line 28. What now? So I don't know why I'm getting that. So this is good because I don't want to make an error in sudoers because I could lock everybody out. So if I hit enter, it'll tell me what my options are and it says edit, E for edit, X for exit, and Q for quit. So I never, never do the last one. I want to go back and edit it again. 
So let's see what the problem is. Well, the problem is there's no real uh, path for tail. So what I have to do is I have to put in the wherever it happens to be. So let's have a look. I have another um, window open. You, you find, you'll find you may need multiple windows. It just helps. So here I've already done the which tail in there. So And here I see user bin tail. So I have to use user bin tail. Let's take a look at that. So here what I do is I modify this user bin tail. So now they can tail this log file. So now I'm going to close it and see if VI sudo likes it. Save modified buffer, Y for yes, and just hit enter. And now I have um, now I have done set up max. So I need to test max. So what I need to do is I need to switch user to max. So I'm going to leave Sue here. And I'm going to, over in here, in order to test with max, I have to switch user to max. So I can use sudo to switch to another user without knowing uh, their name or their password. I have to know their name. So I one, two, three, four. It's my password for Sue, five, six, seven, eight. So now I've switched user from Sue to Max, but but I'm running as Sue over here. So I still have this one running as Sue. So now let's look at uh, what Max can do. So let's try um, tail. No, I can't do that because I don't have permission to do that. So let's try sudo. And I need the password for max. So now it says uh, user max is not allowed to execute user bin tail. So the problem with this as root on teachers, th that's the host name. So the problem with this is that this is not what I asked for max to do. If we look at What I asked for was user bin tail dash f. So as you can see, it's very, very specific. So what I want to do is go back here to max. Let's go and see if max can max is now able to do this. So what I did was I successfully set up max to be able to run one specific command tail with a specific option, dash F, on a specific log file. So Max should not be able to do anything else. I, Max cannot do, let's give it a shot, um, just, to, just to test it. Max is not allowed. So it doesn't tell me what Max can do. Max should know that because I've told him. So that was, that was a successful editing of the VI sudoers. We have to be very careful, but we've done, so Max can now do a whole bunch of good things that and I can start training Max. So that's one user for one specific um, one specific command, very specific. And that's what we need to do. So we used VI sudoers to edit the sudoer file and made sure we didn't break it. And then we tested it. So you always have to make the change and then test it. Never assume that it worked.